Hey everyone, what's up? Sam Pro Pro here, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this 3D. Well, I can't really move the character out of the way. I probably should have, but anyways, uh, it's like a 3D uh, space nebula kind of thing, uh, using nothing but pictures. Absolutely no scripting. Uh, I put the rocks in, you know, to add like a kind of a 3D-ish touch, so you guys can kind of see how it looks. All right, so let's go ahead and explain how this works. First, I have two pictures. The uh, the pictures are. Let me go back to the pictures here. I have like a giant rainbow -y blurry cloud thing. This is actually kind of important. You do need this. Uh, make sure that it's not blurred on any of the edges because it will, you'll see like this chunk of like square. And I have a little rock standing for meteorites. Um, yes, it is the the man on the moon thing from GIMP. I'll show you real quick. It's the uh, this symbol right here. The one small step texture. All right, so now what you first want to do is, after you've imported them, you want to make a parallel process, one for the clouds and one for the rocks. Now, the clouds, you want to have, you want to start with a high picture number. It doesn't matter how much you have, just make sure you start with an extremely high number. So now we're going to do, like, we're going to, we're going to show the picture. If you don't know how to do that, you can go to show picture and then move picture, which we're going to be using next is right here, right underneath show picture. So we're going to do show picture, the cloud, we're going to set its X and Y to negative 100 each, then set the zoom to 100 each, and then make the opacity zero. Now we're going to do move picture, make sure it's the exact same ID, the number, has to be the same number, otherwise it's not going to move the picture. You want to put the Y position to zero, and you want to move it to the left. Uh, that gives it sort of an animation a little bit, like kind of smooth, like fade. Now you're going to do, oh, another thing. You want to uncheck wait for completion. You make sure you uncheck that. Then we're going to do wait for about 20 frames. You can do that by going to 2, and then timing over here to wait. And then you're going to type 20. So now what you want to do is you're going to click this. You're going to hold shift. While holding shift, you're going to click this. So you select all three of these at first. Then you're going to copy them, and then you're just going to paste them over and over again. Then you're going to edit by clicking on one of these, and then you're going to press space to edit, and you're just going to decrease the number, change the X and Y values, and do the same thing for the move picture. So do that a few times. Make sure you're decreasing it, otherwise it's going to glitch. So you have it something similar to mine, so where you copied and pasted them a lot, and you played around with the values a little bit. Then click OK. So there's your clouds. That's how you do the nebula cloud. Now, to do the rocks, it's very, very similar, except we're going to do wait for 60 frames. And since the rock is actually a small image, we're going to actually give it coordinates. We're going to do center, and we're going to kind of just play around with random coordinates here. Um, since this rock is kind of to the left and top of the screen, I want it to kind of smoothly go to, um, to the left a little bit by lowering the amount of X and lowering the Y position. That's going to make it go up and left. If you increase it, it goes down and right. So now we're going to wait for 60 frames after we have uh, did this, but notice notice how it's a little bit different this time. This time we start on the show picture by setting the opacity to 255. And then we kind of uh, we make opacity 0 on move picture. Instead of like what we did before, oops, with the opacity being 255 after the move picture. So that's that's an um, important thing to notice. So yeah, then we're going to do a wait for 60 frames. So we're going to copy and paste that, and then, like before, lower the number. Now, if you look right here, I kind of have two rocks appear at the same time. You can do that. You can have multiple rocks appear at the same time if you want. Then we're just going to finish that off. And that's literally how you do it. It's as simple as that. I'll show you it once again. And there you go. It's kind of like a 3D nebula. It's kind of cool. You can uh, change the background. I don't know how well it would look on like other things, though. So, yeah. Uh, it's been the Unpro Pro here, and I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Please like if you enjoyed. Later.